Hey guys and welcome back to Land Striders Multiplayer Terra Firma Punk Server. Woo! Where today we're going to have a look around here and try and find ourselves somewhere beautiful to live. I'm not entirely sure where we're going to go. All this ice turned up today. Literally I logged in this morning. Uh... As has just been displayed here. And it started snowing. Now, I know it rains here. So I don't know where all this snow has come from. Uh, and also, all the ice is starting to spread around the outside. But yes, as I say, that, that's that's all craziness for another day, I'm sure, at some point. You can even see on my map the way it's kind of just centred around my character and then just kind of spread out. That That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, we are going to have a quick look around these sets of mountains here and try and decide where we want to live. I'm kind of feeling this little flat plateau over here, but we will definitely have a look around. I mean, we could build something up there as well. What's this? What's this? Yeah, we could build something up there and, and be all good. Do I have any torches in my inventory? I kind of do. Yeah, all right. Let's 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 come down here and have a look. Someone, someone has been here. Smooth quartzite. I wonder what we're going to find at the bottom. There, there appears to be a bit of a cave here. What have we got? That's some redstone ore. Oh, wow. Redstone ore. I, I think I have a feeling I know who has been here before. Totally fine. Totally fine. I can't. I can't do a, a dash jump. Why not? What's up? There we go. There we go. Let's get up here and have a look around. I don't think. Ooh, what's that? Do you, do you guys see that up there? I'm not sure if we're going to actually find anything that could be brutal. Ah, this is what we have seen here. Little roof supports. Okay, this is all good. This is all good. So he must have dug in via here and then kind of dug down as he went. That's that's cool. That's cool. But this is not what we're here for. Oh, no, no. This was just a distraction. Okay, that only took about, like, half the morning. <laughs> that's that's no problem at all. I think over here, yeah, we've got a bit of a, a drop down. I think we should try and make our way inside off the beach. Uh, ooh. Yeah, because th this whole place seems a little bit dangerous, and I don't think we're going to be building anything directly on the beach. Oh, look at this. This is all turning to ice. Why is it turned to ice? It's still just an ocean biome. Gravel beach. I don't see anything that indicates that it would be cold. Uh, uh, just got to try and drag yourself up there, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing anything that would indicate that this is a cold area. Oh, man, I'll tell you something we've got to do on our little walkabout here. I need to find some drinkable water. I seem to be... Uh, little bit low there and I don't have anything in my ceramic jug so we could really do with filling these jugs up okay let's uh let's go into a bit of a time lapse mode and I will keep you guys with me to oh no I'll keep you guys with me to see exactly what's going on as I'm here Okay, we see a swamp area in one of these buildings here. This is going to end up being useful for all sorts of other reasons. Oh, look. Oh, look. Yeah, we don't want any part of him. We're just going to ignore him. Uh, but we're going to come through here and top up the water. Now, we appear to... Oh, no, we're in a plains biome. That's all good. I thought we were in some sort of swamp biome there, and I was going to be like, right, we've got to be aware for mosquitoes. But I'm not, so we don't. That's all good. I'm just going to have a quick beverage. I oh, love it. Okay. Stealing balloons from the airship. Yeah, that's going to happen. That's probably going to be something that I want to do at some point. Now, I see this thing in front of me here on my map. I've got a feeling it's going to be a bear or something like that. What is that? Oh, it's a ram. It's a ram. Hey, how's it going over there, buddy? You, you all good? So I see an ample supply of wood here. That That's pretty good. Uh, and this... This mountain, this area around here. Okay, yeah, I think, actually, we're going to set up around here. There's a supply of rock. Uh, there is a brilliant bit of landscape to be building on. And there is water, like wa um, fresh water back there that we can take advantage of. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Look at this. Do I want to kind of make my way further forwards? I think I do. Like, maybe we could live in this flat area with some stuff up top. Oh, there's even some some lava over there or something like that. Yeah, lava and... Ooh, who are you? Lower Goblin Knight and an Upper Goblin Knight. I think we're just going to avoid those. I've got a feeling they're going to be a lot of hassle for me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're after me. Quick, run. Run and be, be free. Uh, what have we got here? A little bunny rabbit. Yeah, so as I say, I'm going to uh, find somewhere nice to, to set up and then maybe make my first iteration of a tiny wooden hut. Oh, wait, I forgot these can't stand on tree leaves. Um, all right, so yeah, I think I'm going to set up here and I will see you guys in a second. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so it's become late at night and all oh, that. <clears throat> that's some trouble out and about. You saw that I had a little bit of trouble with this hermit crab here in the time lapse or whatever it is I actually ended up doing with that footage. Um, I think I want to keep him. I really do. This, this is going to be um, oh, uh, Harry the Hermit Crab. No, we can, we, we can definitely cut Helmet Crab. Sorry, we can definitely come up with a better name than that. But it is night time and we're going to get in here and try and be safe. I've not made myself a a wall, uh, not a wall, a door. So we're going to have to just make do with a little hole like this. I have made myself some chests. Uh, these were quite amusing. Ooh, ooh, ooh spring back a little bit these were quite amusing uh, you can see here I built a load of planks to make a chest but it's not planks that you need it's boards the first thing you make when you uh, cut up a pine, a pine uh, bit there it's lumber sorry lumber uh, you put them together to make the chest so I've got a load of planks to build with there uh, I think what I'm gonna do is probably level this and then draw myself a nice big circle Sort of coming around here, maybe even intersecting with this thing here somewhat. But I don't know. I'm probably gonna keep it, um, keep it separate on its own, uh, and then put that up because gravity is a thing in this one, as it is in post for Nem. And I think a little conical roof would actually do well. I feeling more than a little bit exposed out here so i'm gonna go inside now uh, you can see that all all sorts of horrible things just over there so if i can just get myself built in here i should have had some walls from the last time i came through but i do not appear from the last time i held up in a small hole but i do not appear to so what i'm going to do this time is just kind of pop that there and that should keep me relatively safe against everything so yeah i will see you guys in the morning where i'm going to build a bit more wool so this is the size of the circle that I was looking at for my tower. I think it's quite nice. It's 13 internal diameter. That should actually give me quite a lot of room per floor. I'm starting to wonder whether that's going to be too much space, but there is no such thing as too much space. Oh, that's unfortunate. I haven't dug my way out of here yet. Uh, this pool I actually intend to keep. Uh, I'm going to maybe sink it down a little bit if we can make it a little bit bigger and a little bit lower and then have like a healing pool in the, in the basement. I think that would be a good idea. I'm looking to go up maybe four or five floors and if I can slightly offset each floor I think that will give a nice look I don't know if I want to kind of go out and back or just be jagged I, I'm, I'm not sure all I know is I don't want a straight up and down cylinder okay over here I've been having a few crises uh, I managed oh it's clicking on the top uh, I managed to kill a, a sheep there was like four around all of them male so I was like right well I'm taking this guy out um, cooked him up and put him in here so this should last us a while uh, the seaweed should also last us a while as we can go and just get that from the floor uh, from the sea floor uh, the tomato however not so easy oh that's not what I wanted to do but oh night time is approaching so let's do this quickly if I come in here and clear these out like this back in the hole I left a single uh, hoe behind me now this shouldn't be too much of trouble and whoever finds that is welcome to it uh, but I have these tomato seeds and maize seeds here and I really would like to get them down I don't know how long it takes what Oh, that's not the one I want. What season are we in right now? We're in late winter, so this kind of seems like the best time to be doing stuff. Ah, that's why it's snowing. Doi. Now I remember. Now I figure it out, of course. Uh, back here, I have something else I wish to show you as well. I kept on having the red hats spawning. So I threw up this little defensive wall here. I can, like, try and protect myself. Uh, but more importantly, when they spawn back there, they won't just wander over. I'm not sure if they can make this diagonal here or not. I'll, I'll just take that block out actually. Let's do that right now. Takes a little bit longer to blow, up, uh, to blow up a block than I would like. Blow up a block? Minor block than I would like, but that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna go uh, hide in sight. Oh no, no, no. We, we gotta do the, the planting of the crops first. Where are we gonna put our crops? Now ideally, I'd kind of like to put them over there, but I think for this first first one we should probably do it somewhere a little bit closer do you reckon we can irrigate with salt water I, th I think we can let me just grab a few bits of dirt and take these down here and at least prove the concept uh this this little walkway that i've got up here really needs to be moved somewhere else because i keep smashing my face on the strawberry bushes that is a different color i wonder why that is the way it is uh, who knows who knows okay so let's pop down a few of these and hoe them up hopefully no like that 
No, I was fairly sure this was a thing. Okay, maybe the hydration is wrong. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, fine. Just had to wait for the server to catch up. That's fine. And I'm going to just plant down these tomato seeds. And, oh, nice. I no longer feel like I'm panicking all the time. Uh, this seaweed is ready for harvesting, so I'm just going to grab it. Apart from I've put my knife somewhere. Ah, oh, brilliant. I don't know what it is with these modded Minecraft series. Is, is, is. But there's always one around episode 3 or 4, maybe even up to episode 5. Well, it's just the most shambolic mess of me running back and forth, not really knowing what I'm doing, planting things in weird places. And I think this episode might be that episode for this season. Well, it doesn't look like much has been done, and that's kind of because not much has been done. The main reason for that is I was trying to find a bit more basalt. Ooh. Let me just hit the right keys here and everything should go a little bit better. You see how this is like a nice dark stone here. And I really wanted to do the like at least the bottom couple of layers in that nice dark colour. Unfortunately, I went all the way around here, down here, back up, round and over, swam up this way, came round and then did this entire swim back. This, this was the worst mistake of my day so far. Uh, all to find out that, no, there's there's no basalt around. I, I, I'm actually going to have to go maybe all the way back to spawn, which is a long way away. It's a very much longer way away. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys, you can see that I've done quite well on the deforesting here, but... This has meant I've had no saplings and I'm running out of wood and I really want to do something about that. So what I'm going to do is to get this here crook. Now a few of you will know what this does, a few of you won't. But if I come up and attack one of these trees, they're all so far away. Uh, if I jump up here and start attacking some of these leaves, at some point it should increase... Well, it does increase the likelihood of a sapling drop. Woohoo! So I can start going around and not just deforesting. I can actually get, like, maybe a tree farm together? I don't know, maybe maybe in there, actually. Take take down this this little patchy scrab of hill here. Yeah, this, this one here. Rip it down, and then I'll have this massive area for a tree farm. Uh, yeah, okay, so that was the, that was just a little progress report after hours and hours and hours of walking around. Uh, <laughs> woo. Well, it's been a few days and I've expanded the hole out somewhat. Also managed to get the first layer of my tower down. I think this is going to be the size we have per layer. Uh, I changed the circle somewhat. If the connoisseurs of the circle community out there will realise I've gone from three wide to... Well, this front door is a bit of a, a bad place to uh, show the example. But I've gone to three wide, uh, five wide here with then the two, one, two. Uh, as I say, circle connoisseurs will recognise that pattern. Uh, I kind of knocked it back one for the front wall though because I kind of wanted a, a nice wide area. I think I'm even going to bring a little porchway out here with a little peaked roof and then go into the actual main tower itself. There was a little bit of an issue. Uh, I just kind of was wandering from my tree farm back over here and we'll go have a look at the tree farm in a minute. But I was walking, walking from a tree farm back over here and I was just like doopy doopy doop blah dead. It turns out some helmet crabs had snuck up behind me. I just, I hadn't even spotted them. I don't know how they got up here or uh, anything like that. Uh, it was such a quiet moment. I wasn't really expecting anything. The tree farm is growing in size. Uh, I've put a small wall up. Uh, I was kind of hoping these torches will uh, protect me against spawns. But I have just heard that these, that they don't don't protect against spawns. Which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But, you know, we'll... we'll find some way of dealing with that. I hear glowstone is the good one. Vanilla light sources. But yeah, that, that's about all I've got to show you for the moment. Apart from something inside I can almost completely forgot. Uh, I am on to decent food stocks over there. We've gone through uh, to winter so you see I've harvested my my maize there and my potatoes and stuff like that. Just waiting for spring again to plant the food. Where did I put it? There we go. To plant my, my food back up there. Uh, inside, I have been playing around with the bits of lumber. So I kind of have this picture in my head of this central column going up the tower, maybe getting offset every floor, as I've previously said. Uh, and I was going to use carpenter's blocks here. Uh, but to make them into slabs, you used to just like pop them on the floor Floor. Let's let's put that down, and then you would knock the top with a carpenter's uh, hammer. Unfortunately, if we look at the carpenter's hammer, I I'm not I'm I'm just so not ready for that. Those those materials there are not winners there. Uh, but these are just bits of lumber. So if I take, I haven't got any logs on me. 
So if I take this log and put it in with a copper saw here, we get the lumber. Now you guys have seen me do this before, but these are the bits that you kind of place sort of like micro blocks, but look, you've got those, the entire sort of 16 by 16 of the block to just place what you want where you like. Uh, and that's been quite good. But unfortunately, like you saw that I used two logs there and that will only give me four planks. So can you imagine how much I've had to do to make this, this little wall going around here, let alone like trying to get doors in place or anything like that. But yeah, there's my progress update. Woo! I just found a random bit of meat on the floor. I was just going out to find clay. I mean, why would I need to have the video recorder rolling? It does not like anything interesting was going to happen that people were going to be like, oh, I wish I'd seen that. I mean, no, of course not. What? So before I dirt myself into oblivion and lose my last one life, maybe we should go through and do a few uh, quests here. Why not? Whilst I was out and about, I managed to collect up a whole load of pumpkins here, and they're used for a festive spirit. These bright orange gourds will make an excellent pie, as well as a permanent light source. Can I turn the jack-o'-lanterns into a pie? I, I, I don't think that's a thing. So let's try this and see if the... Yes, the recipe is vanilla. Brilliant, wonderful. I could have done better myself. And got some squash seeds. All right, we'll pop that in the farm. In fact, whilst we're here, let's have a quick look. Late winter, late February. I think maybe it might be time to start planting some crops up, but we'll find that out. Uh, on my walk, I also found some willow saplings. Well, I found a willow tree and I made a crook, as you can see here. Uh, I got myself a few saplings. I'm not sure where we're going to plant them. They did seem pretty large, so I think what I'm going to do is just kind of start by putting them on the side here. No, that's that's not quite what I wanted to do. Thank you. Thank you for the offer, though. Um, I wonder if these count as vanilla light sources. Could could I be using the jack-o'-lanterns to light up my area, and will that stop all the mob spawns? That would be nice. If that was actually the case, that would be very, very nice indeed. Okay, I've been... Oh, come on. Let me, let me have access. I've been keeping my excess saplings in there, so that one's away nice and brilliantly. What else are we going to do here? Uh, I don't think I'm going to collect these quests right yet. At some point, we're going to do an entire reward bag session. We're going to take a couple of minutes just to go through and do all the stuff. Maybe the very last thing we do in this episode. Uh, I've not found the granite to do this, and it turns out... Diorite, Garbo, Granite, these are the things you need. None of the stuff that I've got is actually it. Though, that said, I'm wondering whether I actually had 10 walls on me at any one time. Uh, it doesn't matter. We will check that out at another point, hopefully. Well, in classic me style, I've gone and done something horrendously stupid and not recorded it on video. So, um, I died. Like, my last life, I died. Uh, thankfully, Dornell was online, so he could revert my player file, but that means I don't have a book, I don't have my tools, I don't have the position I was in, like, my player book would have been deleted, I'm falling off and breaking my shins everywhere, uh, so what was that, what had actually happened, I come walking up this way, and a creeper kind of climbed up the the beach the other way and scared me so I ran in here at top notch closed the door turned around and there was a pinch beetle here uh, I managed to climb up here and be safe on top of the the log for a little bit but uh, when morning was coming I was like right I'm gonna make a, a dash for it just as I dashed of course that was the time lag decided to hit and I didn't even make it to the door before I died so that's uh, yay fool so we need to make a new book. This this is the thing we need to do. Uh, if we come in here and go, I am stood outside, aren't I? What 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 stupidity is this? Hang about. Let's let's get back inside. The, after just complaining about how I died and stuff like that. Well, at least I'm recording this time. That would be the the better the better upshot of this. Okay, so in here we've got our quest book. We need a string and a book. String relatively simple. Uh, if we come over here round here somewhere. Um, inside this chest, I have been collecting silkworms from crooking the leaves. You'll, you'll remember that I was crooking the tree leaves to get the saplings. And in fact, I need a crook this time as well. I do love those bad ones, you know, all, all about the crooks. Now, if we take the silkworm and go stand next to a safe place, I'm going to go down this way where it's all lit up. I don't, I don't think... I mean, there's no guarantee that that makes it any safer, 
but we're, we're just going to go with it here. Okay, so we have infested the leaf with silkworm. Of course, the choice of animal if you are going to be collecting string. Now, we've got to watch this because I've done this once before, and once the timer ticks up to 100, you have a very narrow window to come along and crook it to make sure it becomes string. So we're just going to wait here for a bit. Spider over there. We just oh look, oh it spread. Oh last time I did this, it didn't do it. Infesting five, six, seven. I mean this is infested. Oh look, look it is full on spreading. You know what? I'm gonna just steal this. We're gonna come back and get some more of this string. But what we need to do now is get inside because look, there's a spider. In fact, this this is not even gonna stop him. This is why I need to get a roof on here. But we're gonna go up here because you know that worked so well for me last time. The next bit is a book. Now a book we need leather, right? Well you don't just get leather from. Ah, oh, just go away. No, 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 no. I, I think we can fight him. I think I'd rather run away. What do you guys reckon? Go! Let's get let's get to the hole. So we can we can make a book, but we need to get leather. Now I've not got leather off of um, cows or anything like that. Am I am I safe here? I am kind of safe here. If we look in this one. What I've got is some sheepskin and some suet and things like that, none of which are actually leather. Did he actually just hit me then? Really? Is that is that what's going on? Give us a second. Oh man, this pack is so dangerous. But yeah, so I haven't got any leather or anything like that yet. I really actually did think I'd got some skins. So this means we're going to have to go on a hunt. I don't know if I can change this sheep skin. Should we go inside and have a look? I don't believe it It, it does. Okay, sa safety here. Safety here. Uh, uses. I can only turn it into wool. Which is nice, but that's not what we're after. So, there, I happen to have spotted some cows out and about whilst I've been on my travels. I do believe they're that way. But, uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start rolling over that way and maybe call in via Landstrider's stream. So I went out, did a little bit of killing, so I've got all this stuff to put in my chest over here. The next thing is, of course, making the actual leather itself. This is actually food. Let's try and save that out of the uh, indiscriminate clicking here. Uh, where am I going to put the food? I'm, I'm gathering too much food to deal with here. I think what I should do, actually, is take one of these chests here. Just uh, pop it down here and pop all my food in there. There is a lot to deal with here. A lot to deal with. Okay, so one of the uh, the thankful things that has happened with my death is that I've managed to put almost all my tools on the wall here. So even though we are nowhere near having copper uh, tools in our quest book and stuff, we can fully go ahead and make ourselves a barrel, which is what's needed to make the leather. We need to take this large rawhide, and if I hit the, uh, the uses button, you can see we put it in the vessel... Oh, no, this isn't what I was expecting. Oh, man, so what have we done here? Okay, let's go in here and have a look. To make the leather, we need the small prepared hide. Now, if I remember correctly, we actually make the prepared hide from a scraped hide, which is done on a log, I believe. I believe. Let me grab a log. Okay, so the uh, recipe for leather ended up being a rabbit hole of pain and suffering. You'd start off with the raw hide, uh, and then you would, like, soak it in a barrel with lime water. Yeah, lime water. I, I don't know where you get... Well, I think I know where you get lime water from. You mix uh, limestone in with it. Uh, you then get the medium soaked hide. The medium soaked hide is then the thing that you put on the log uh, and scrape it down to make the scraped hide, which you then put in a barrel. And, oh, man, that was just so long. So I ended up calling into Landstriders um stream link down below in the doobly doos uh got got he gave me a quest book we also went off and did some other fun stuff that led to many deaths he gave me a load of hearts so that we managed to survive that uh, i now have unfortunately racked up 10 deaths on this server and i'm on my last life uh and danger is all around you'll remember me telling you uh that we only needed um 
vanilla light sources to make places spawn proof. Well, it turns out jack-o'-lanterns are good enough, but the torches that I put around the inside of here, oh, go away, please, uh, were not good enough. So I've still got stuff spawning on the inside. But yeah, uh, th there we go. That, that works. Uh, and with that... I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where we're actually going to do the replay of... Oh, oh no.